I'm extremely proud and pleased to be here this afternoon, but must admit I'm going to be tremendously more pleased and more proud when I look at that third base coaching line one day and see a black face managing in baseball. Thank you very much. That was my first year in the big leagues, my first full year. I never saw myself ever wanting to coach. And at that time, you know, third base coach was a no-no because that was supposed to be the thinking man's spot on the team outside of the manager. Goes back to what my mom and dad told me when I was a kid, that if you're African-American, you gotta be twice good to, to accomplish the same thing. I mean, that's that's pretty evident when, when if you don't win the whole thing, which is all they talk about, then, then it, you're made to feel as if you were a failure. And I, re, I refuse to let anybody make me feel that I'm less than anything than, than good at what I do. And um, you know, I've lost a couple jobs with no explanation, period. Instead of being bitter about it, uh, it, it actually motivates me more uh, because of what, on how I was raised on, on, and, and what my mom and dad instilled in me. You know, I was born two years after Jackie broke the color barrier. And, you know, most African-Americans at that time were Brooklyn Dodger fans because of Jackie. Jackie gave us a lot of pride about being black. And my dad, I mean, he idolized Jackie Robson. My dad was a baseball coach in our town of Riverside. He was big on attitude. And uh, my dad cut me when I was eight, nine, and 10 because he said I had a bad attitude and a bad temper. And if I could take that positive direction, that I could be something one day. And uh, whenever I would get mad and get in a fight or whatever, my dad would say, and I got really kind of, kind of got tired of hearing it. My dad would ask me, what would Jackie have done in that situation? He was very influential, you know, in my life as a kid. He was an inspiration to us all, no matter what race you are. And I remember in the Jackie Robinson movie about how there was a little white kid that wrote Jackie and Jackie and him became pen pals, became friends. Well, that inspired me because I have about 15 or 20 kids now that are men of all nationalities and a lot of them are white that, that, that I think about how Jackie influences one kid's life. And then I just hope that I could be a, a, a small motivation to people of all nationalities and races to help motivate them and their kids. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.